Well, thank you very much, uh, Kerry. Uh, can I acknowledge uh, Chris as the Chief Executive uh, and all of you that have come to join us for the uh, launching of this uh, lab. Uh, don't do that many openings in garages, but when you look at Hewlett Packard, Apple and other magnificent things that started in garages, uh, pleased to do this one here too. Uh, New Zealand's got this humongous challenge around trying to make homes are more affordable and to address the issues of supply and tremendously proud uh, as the Minister of Housing and Housing Corp with the work that's going on at PACE here with Hobsonville and taking the opportunity as the government owner to provide some leadership in the change that needs to occur in the way in which we do houses. And I want to acknowledge uh, Brian and Margaret that are here from the community board and also representatives from the council, because that change also has to be a change in the way in which we regulate house building, because too often that's actually got in the way of some of the affordable challenges that a city like Auckland faces. Now, if you look at the stats about New Zealand houses, uh, two things stand out over the long term picture. They've been getting consistently bigger in what we have built over the last 25 years, which is sort of at odds with the figures from Statistics New Zealand that say the number of people per household is actually going in the opposite direction. Uh, New Zealand's homes are uh, some of the biggest in the world. Actually, on average, they're double the size of the average home size in Europe. If we are to have homes that are more affordable, that more Kiwi families are going to be able to afford to own, we need smarter solutions. And that's what this lab project here in Hobsonville is about. Uh, if we are more clever with our design, we believe it is possible to build small homes that are comfortable, that provide a good quality of life, that are able to be more sustainable, and meet those affordability objectives. Now, if we look in terms of the building market, the government is hugely encouraged by the big step up in the amount of new building activity that's occurring here in a city like Auckland. Uh, the figures that I released in Parliament yesterday is that over the last year we've seen the biggest increase pace of building in more than a decade in the city and that nationally where we were sitting at building about 13,000 houses per year my latest advice is that we're going to build about 23,000 or an extra 10,000 uh, per year to what we were doing just two years ago. That's all positive, but the next bit that we need to drive is this business of innovation, and that's where this project is particularly exciting. Uh, can I acknowledge uh, our partners, the smart brains, architects, engineers, product manufacturers that are part of these three labs, Quite distinctly, the company is making these available for the next six months to try and engender uh, interest in a change in design mode. Uh, they are making the designs available uh, for the public and the sector at large as part of seeing Hobsonville uh, as a beachhead project to change the way uh, in which we develop this magnificent city of Auckland. So big thank you to all our partners with it. I'm excited about its potential. I hope you are too. And on that note, officially launch the Hobsonville Small House Lab. Thank you very much.